Hello there, everybody. Mbix here with a <clears throat> sorry about my uh, throat with a somewhat uh, substantial kind of um update for my mock Millennium Falcon. This is the second update, so uh, definitely go check out the first. Um, the whole Millennium Falcon. I just added some stilts to give it more stability as I build more and more. Obviously, uh, all the colors are not uh, official. I'm gonna change them out to uh, get bigger plates and stuff like that. Though this area used to be empty, and to see how it worked, I just added some more pieces right there. <clears throat> I got good work done on these uh, kind of intrusion, um, uh, kind of protrusion, sorry, uh, p uh, sections. Like, uh, go watch my first update. It was very rounded, and I removed that by just putting uh, some bricks inside and a spring-loaded shooter. And there's a gap, though I don't think it looks that bad. You can barely see it with the wing on top. And I can't do it with the one hand. You kind of have to hold here, but um, it does shoot out. And, um, you know, uh, what's like, uh, I complete the mock, it will be more stable, and then I can do it with one hand, hopefully. Uh, so, yeah, that looks pretty good. I think I like the whole spring-loaded shooter. Um, this whole uh, section, it's raised up about two bricks. This is um, a brick and a plate. So I need to add two plate levels. I think I'm gonna add one underneath the spring-loaded shooter, one above the spring-loaded shooter to make it even out with the rest of the Millennium Falcon. So you see these uh, kind of section flaps that open. I have three of them. I've kind of planned out where the next one's gonna be. I'm gonna have another one of these uh, section packs made out of two wings right here. And then if I can fit another section of two wings, I'll put it here, but I doubt that. So I'm only going to use one of those wing pieces over here. So that's going to be one and a half. And then off to this side, I'm going to use one of these sections right here. And then here it's going to be some brick building because this is the cockpit, which I also got some good work done on. And then here I'm going to have another one of these sections, though not connected to the rest. And then these wings, see how the wing part overlaps with the build? I'm going to have like two of these uh, one by threes just stacked up upon each other and stick that there, you know? So I'm gonna have a bit of brick walling here, here, and here all together. Well, as the plan sounds right now. Uh, the canopy piece, I do need to order another one of these because that actually came from this mock right here. My kind of a uh, shield um, carrier, not carrier, uh, shield ship. <laughs> but, um, I think it actually captures the shape uh, pretty well. Again, ideally, I'd want something like this. Uh, one sec, I'm trying to get it. This sized down, but um, obviously, um, with this scale, um, Lego would have to make a specialized piece. And since they did not make a piece like that at the moment, I do not have it. So I have to settle for the next best, which I think this is actually the next best thing. I'm gonna put like a cheese slope, double cheese slope, um, with a print to show some capsule. And too bad, like, for now I'm using bag cap, but I will use it solo later. Too bad they really have to just lie down in there and only space for one figure. And again, people will be sitting. Anyway, uh, the gun hasn't changed, so I do need to add some cone pieces. Um, let's see, oh yeah, landing gear. Well, <clears throat> here's um, one idea for landing gear. Um, I'm gonna have another one of these pieces on this side, and then it's gonna fit on the bottom of the Millennium Falcon. I'm gonna have about five of these. And this, I just used this piece because surprisingly, I don't have a 2 by 3 in a good color. So that is going to be a 2 by 3 And you may think with just one stud, it won't fit well. Well, let's see if you guys are right. Because I've actually um, I've already tried this on my own. But yeah, uh, it, it just comes up so easily, right? Well, actually, on the bottom of the Millennium Falcon, it is plate-based. And I'm going to tell you with plates, because the bottom of plates are circular. Let's try to get one. Let's say this. So we fit that in there and it will fit very well on a plate. You know, you can really just jiggle this around a lot, but it's on a plate. The whole thing will be able to spin and this will be able to move a little bit, though. I think that's fine, though. Another design I've been trying. That's one where I use a two by three. But another one I've been thinking of is perhaps I do use this kind of piece and I put two jumpers, so oh, two one by two jumpers and put this in the middle and then, you know, these same kind of beams at the sides and then you could still have a bit more detailing with that kind of hole right there. So those are um, some things I'm working on. So 
I'm definitely uh, trying to work on landing gear. I'm gonna have to mirror that turret somehow on the bottom of the ship once the whole thing comes down. Oh, another thing. All these plates are uh, attached way more complex than they're going to be. Like, I put a lot of plates underneath this. But, you know, once I get the actual plates, like here, I'm using two bys, which are like, you have to put a lot of attachment points. But when I use four by eight, you know, then I don't need that many uh, attachment points, so it should be easier. Again, another connection like that one is gonna be here, and another one is gonna be here for the kind of wings. But yeah, I think the shipping here is good. I got the cockpit, I'm working on landing gear. And yeah, you know, now I can see where this is heading. Like I have where I need the wings, I just don't have the pieces to do it. But um, I will try to get in a piece haul uh, sometime this week for the ship. I may do a video on it, but I may not and just immediately use the pieces for this. But yeah, that is it for this video and I hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.